This is the 103-year-old beautiful Brasserie L'Excelsior in the stunning city of Nancy, the capital of the Lorraine region. The external facade is typically Art Nouveau. The inside decor is a rich association of precious wood, fine metal work, giant mirrors, delicate stained glass, sculpted high ceilings, and very beautiful mosaic floors. The atmosphere of this vast dining room is timeless. The waiters are superbly professional. It is a place of savoir-faire. It's typical for a brasserie to be chic but relaxed and to serve traditional food that the French really, really love. The seafood platter with oysters, scampis, crab, lobster and much more is a popular treat to share. It is the reason why I love eating in brasseries. The kitchen also specializes in the sour cabbage dish of choucroute with pork, along with the Excelsior signature dessert featuring delicious Mirabel plums. The charming town of Nancy also lends its name to a great chocolate cake. I first place 150 grams of dark chocolate in a bowl and melt it over a bath of hot water. As soon as the chocolate has melted, I mix it 100 grams of caster sugar mixed with 125 grams of soft batter. Next, I mix in four egg yolks, 25 grams of plain flour, and 100 grams of almond meal. I then fold four beaten egg whites into the chocolate preparation. I like to be very gentle with the mixing of the egg white with the chocolate mass. Above all, I must not overmix it. I then pour the cake mixture into a battered and floured cake tin and bake in the preheated oven at 170 degrees for about 35 minutes. I like to sprinkle the cake with flaked almonds and dust it with icing sugar. This gâteau au chocolat de Nancy, one of the best chocolate cakes, is delightful with whipped cream and a little orange marmalade. A few steps from the classic Stanislas Square, La Maison des Sœurs Macaron makes the famous Macaron de Nancy biscuit, which was created more than 200 years ago by two foodie nuns. Pâtissier Nicolas Genot holds the secret of the original recipe. The main ingredients are crushed almonds, sugar and egg whites. It is crunchy on the outside, soft and moist inside. Yum! Another of Nicolas' specialties is la bergamote de Nancy, a flavorsome lolly. It's made with a very slowly cooked caramel, flavored with the essence of bergamot, a fruit resulting from the grafting of a lemon tree with a bitter orange tree. The making is fun to watch, and for me, it's a new taste experience. It is so citrusy, it's just so beautiful. Tomorrow we arrive in the very beautiful Lakeside Resort of Gérame and I taste one of the great cheeses of France.